Welcome back to Paper Mario. We're still in this Koopa Village and still dealing with, with uh, fuzzies. These annoying, weird little creatures. We're gonna continue to deal with them no matter how annoying they are. And this super quick Koopa Troopa apparently doesn't need my help at least, so that's good. Anyway, what should we do first? I guess we're gonna deal with this annoying fuzzy right here. Come on, get him. Nope. This fuzzy's really annoying to deal with, though not the most annoying. Jumps around pretty quickly, so you need some good timing. But I jumped on him and got him, and then he runs away. Good. This is the worst, though. Yeah, that's how you'll feel playing this part. Ugh. You have no idea, like, every time you get close to him at all, he just jumps away, and he pretty much always gets pretty far away. You cannot, you need, like, perfect timing. And I found the best way is to do this sort of spin and then immediately hammer sort of thing here. Because otherwise he'll just keep jumping away and you'll never get him. Otherwise, you just don't have the time. Or you just need profound and amazing levels of luck. Like, look at this! I tried to play this on a keyboard, god forbid. I trust me, this is the correct way to do this. Doing anything else is just... If not borderline impossible, literally impossible. So I tried to trick him, which of course never works. You just need like good a lot of good timing and some good luck. Again, this is optional, but I always feel like I want to do it anyway. Hopefully I get it soon enough. Otherwise I might just give up. Yeah, there. That. Perfect. Finally got it. That was some good luck on my part. I could have never predicted that. <laughs> Very thankful that it is optional. And the way we do have one more shell to get. Or at least one more shell. This guy seems fine. You put a lock on a shell, so they can't get it. <laughs> That's so stupid. But anyway, we just found this guy for no reason. Let's kill him too. Come on, Mr. Fuzzy. You know you want to get hit with a hammer. Let's play a game of whack a Fuzzy. There's an innuendo in that summer, I'm sure. I'm just not clever enough for that. I wouldn't be surprised if this part was originally optional, but then the developers at the last minute made this all... Uh, sorry, I thought... I wouldn't be surprised if this was originally mandatory. But they just made it optional at the last second. Because that is so annoying. And you really don't get anything out of this. I'm not even sure why it's here. So yeah, we, if you can push uh, blue blocks like that. Something to keep note of. Talk to this lady here and... Oh yeah, Colorado. This is his wife, and we're gonna hear a lot about these two throughout this game. We can ignore that weird house for a second. What's with this old guy? 
Seems very confused by this. And he should be. This is a very confusing event. This is what's going on at this house. I'd assume so, uh. Nice bandana. Yes, that was Mario, alright? Uh, sure, dude. It, we can help, I guess. Yeah, we've heard everyone's shell's been taken. By these assholes. Ugh. Yeah, I definitely know that they're way too fast. Ugh. Any bows to us? Uh, dude, just because you help someone, they don't automatically become your friend for life. Mario's one ignorant little fool. Oh well. Anyway, this jerk just left out this building, and there's a road behind his building for some reason. Uh, dude, why is there, why is there a path behind your house? I don't get it. So yeah, there's a lot of fuzzies here. But we're just gonna chase this fuzzy, I think. Forza, he's just gonna go to the next screen anyway, so... How about we fight one of these fuzzies at this point? Or two of them. Goombario, you know what to do. <laughs> yeah, they're crazy dudes. 3 HP, 1 attack. Yeah, the problem with uh, fuzzies is that one, they have a really weird attack that can be hard to dodge. And two, their attacks uh, give them back as much HP as they take. But thankfully, I've actually gotten pretty good at dodging them for some reason. What surprises me is that's usually not the case. They're not a big deal, but they can be kind of annoying because of that attack. Like, if one of them has like 2 HP, and they hit you, they'll get back to 3. And then you have to use 2 attacks instead of 1, it's kind of annoying. We go over this little bridge here. And he decided to jump in a tree. Me orc. That's the weirdest creature name, or weirdest thing a creature could say possible. Yep. So now it's a memory game. Find the one with the blue shell. He's in here. But of course, there is more of them. And these do get progressively harder. If you don't have good eyesight, this could be really frustrating. You have to keep very close watch. But luckily, he just landed back in the tree I just hit. You moron. It better not be the same tree, dude. Ugh. Yeah, it can be hard to keep track of that one, but I did find it. Thankfully. If you if you get this wrong at any point, you'll instead have to fight more fuzzies. And then I'll start again. It's not that bad, honestly, but it can be kind of annoying. Anyway, the music's changed back. So I guess this problem's gone. Got the shell back. I'd like to see Koopa Troopas do logging. Koopa Troopa Lumberjacks. That'd be awesome. Yes, you do. You have to fight them and get your own shell back yourself. 
Unfortunately, we already did your job for you. We already did this job. Here you go. It doesn't matter if you choose not to, it'll just be like... It'll make you do it one way or the other. Anyway, got his cool blue shell back. Uh, wait, blue shell. That sounds familiar. Hmm. Oh yeah, we just heard about that Colorado guy. Well, it's cool to have uh, people to live up to, I guess. Or people to look up to, that is. Yeah, sure, we'll take you along, dude. Might as well, right? And we got a new party member! Cooper! Press down C on the field, and he'll throw his uh, shell and to reach things in the distance. And he can attack as well in the same way. Either one enemy or all enemies. He can be really useful for multi-enemy battles. Anyway, we got a new partner. Uh, we have two of these. Might as well use them at this point. For non-specific reasons. Uh, well, we're clearly done here. Showing off the new shell attack. It can be really useful sometimes. Anyway, let's leave and... Uh, oh. What do you want? Oh, a fight, huh? Okay, if you want... Ugh, four of them, that's... Quite a bit. Normally, that might be an issue. But thankfully, we have this guy. Let's try the power shell. Hit all four, and... Nice. That helps a lot. You have to dodge right here and now. But that is still better than I usually get. I'm usually terrible at dodging these people's attack. Let's just throw a hammer. Why not? Do shell toss to get rid of this guy too. And there's only one left now. As we dodge them, we can just finish him off, I guess. And that's done with. We're already at 65 star points. Or... Are they called star points? Anyway, we only need like 35 at this point. To get a level up. But now that we have Cooper here, we can reach this thing. Get the shell, and he'll grab items like that. Something important to keep in mind. Anyway, that badge gives us 5 extra HP. But it takes as many badge points you get for a level up. Anyway, so, uh, it basically just means if you wanted more HP, but did more badge points, you can just use that instead. Otherwise, it's kind of useless. What do you mean you wouldn't mind? <laughs> They're the most annoying things. And yeah, for the rest of this episode, it's just going to be wandering around the town, seeing what else we can do. But what's with this guy? This is a weird, weird-looking worm creature with a top hat. Kawiz! Ooh, give us a star piece for engine a quiz. Um, okay, I'll, I'll go with that. Uh, huh? What, where, where are we? Huh? Where are we? What happened? Is that Luigi? What? Um, 
Gumbaria, right? That's... yes. Correct! Yay! I got a question right. And the thing popped out of your head. And now we have a star piece. Uh, what? And then he just disappears. What the hell was that? Yeah, spoiler warning? That's not gonna be the last we see of him. That was kind of weird. Speak of star pieces, though. Push a block, get another star piece. Anyway, let's talk to this old guy again. Uh, sure, I'll do you a favor, old dude. Mm, borrow a book? Uh, that's... that's not a problem. That seems pretty reasonable, actually. Anyway, we just have to go here. To Colorado's wife here. Does she have a name? And yeah, just ask for the book and we'll get it, pretty much. I don't know, he seems like a reasonable old dude. Oh good. Got the book back. That was very simple. Not exactly a huge side quest. From Rochelle since 30 days. <laughs> oh, that's... that's just dumb. Anyway, we got the book from... Simple enough. Galloping Goombas. <laughs> Ooh, a gift. Ooh, I hope it's something really cool like a star piece or... Oh. A, a coin. It was a coin. Well then... Coin. I'll just... Give me a second. Um. Ah! No, 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 no. Hate! Hate! Ugh. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Anyway... See what everyone else is doing. Yeah, you can go outside again. Nice time to relax in the sun. That's a good point, sir. Sounds like a good time. Tree doesn't have anything new. But we do have these bu bombs. I feel really sorry for them, having to be overworked by those stupid, uh, Koopa Bros. What jerks. Well, they apparently missed the fuzzy event, if it wasn't that exciting for them. But yeah, it's weird that we have backstory for the Koopa Bros, of all people. Oh, he was looking for me, huh? How about no? How about no? Let's take a nap after that amazing side quest. Yeah.
Anyway, what else can we do here? Um, no, I think... Well, yeah, there's this. We never checked out the shop. Let's see what else it has. It has a couple new items from the Toe Town shop. But it's not that different, to be honest. Just check out my items, see what else I can get. And using this dried shroom because it's pretty much useless. But I'll get another power block here. That's good. But with that done, yeah, I think this is enough. Next time on Paper Mario, we'll leave Koopa Village and start heading to Koopa Bros Fortress. <laughs>